Prism Lens Effects are a company that manufacture filmmaking tools and accessories for your camera. And you should check them out because they've got some really interesting stuff on the website. I've put a link in the description so you can have a look. But one of the products in particular caught my eye. It's the Dream Effects Filter. It's basically textured glass in the form of a filter and then you put that on your lens and it softens the highlights and the skin tones and it gives that real classic retro vintage look that I'm a huge fan of. Now I was gonna buy one, but because they're a small company based in California, the shipping to UK is $45. The largest filter size they do is 77 mil and I would need the 82 mil. So I would have had to have purchased the step down ring as well, which is an extra $10 on top of the already $75 Dream Effects filter itself. Now, although Prism Lens Effects make quality stuff and I, I like to support small businesses, I just can't justify that price at the moment. So I had an idea. I just want to say that I like to support small businesses and I don't, I'm not trying to take anything away from Prism Lens Effects or anybody at all. So please note before you do this, my solution won't give you the same results as the proper filter itself, but it will get you somewhere close. It won't last as long either probably, but for the meantime, it's a good solution. And as well, another disclaimer, I don't want you to go ruining any of your stuff. Uh, please don't. Don't blame me, I'm not telling you to do this, I'm just saying this is what I've done to make my own filter and to save a little bit of money. <clears throat> I'm not telling you to ruin your stuff. Don't ruin your stuff. Right, so the filter that I used for this little project is the Gobe filter. Is it Gobe or Gobi? Gobe? There's a link below along with the other links. So I've used this filter, but you can use any filter. I think Jessup's do one for about four pounds. I've gone for this one for a few reasons. One, because it's affordable and if it goes wrong, I can just wipe the lens and I don't mind if it breaks or anything like that. But the second reason is when you buy any of the Gobe, Gobi, Gobe products, they plant five trees for you. So it's going to a really good cause. So I think it's good to support companies that do things like that for the environment. There's my uh, little bit for the for the world. World. Now before I sprayed the filter itself, I actually practiced on some square sheets of clear plastic to make sure I was spraying the right amount because I didn't want to overspray, didn't want to underspray. So I thought I'd test it first. Anyway, turns out that any more than four sprays is too much and it's just no, nothing can be in focus then because the lens just focuses on, on those little particles. So between two to four sprays is the perfect amount. Just bear in mind that if you raise the f-stop on your camera too far, it starts to focus in on those little particles. So just be mindful of that. Um, it works really well at lower apertures. But that's the same with anything. If you get a bit of dust on your lens, you'll be able to see it if you got the aperture really high. So as you can see from all these comparisons, it softens all the highlights, giving that real film look, and it just, it's like really dreamy that dreamy look. It also gives you a really nice glow around a subject that's being lit from behind. And it just makes the skin look really soft. It's just really good look. I mean, you're not gonna use, probably wouldn't use it all the time, but it's definitely got its place. And for the price of, make it, of making it yourself, it's, it's a really good price. I'm a big fan of the old school film look. Don't get me wrong, I do love a clean, sharp image as well, but there's just something about the imperfections of old gear that make it look so good. Oh, I love it, I do. I love it.
Now you've got to be really careful with the filter once you've done this because the hairspray is quite sticky so it's probably going to get dust particles on it and if you touch it you're going to get fingerprints in there so just be really careful when you're handling the filter make sure you keep it in the case if you've got one it's a good in fact that's a good idea if you're gonna buy one of the filters get one that comes with its own case now prism lens effects also has another com has has have Prism Lens Effects also have another company called Tropic Color, and they create all sorts of post production tools for videographers, filmmakers, and photographers. I've purchased a few of their products myself, and they're so good, honestly. If ever I'm thinking about buying anything that's going to help my workflow or enhance my production quality, they're the first place I look. Tropic Color. I'll leave a link in the description again, but they're amazing, so go and check them out. I could, I'd buy it all if I could, to be honest. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you if you like this look and you've got the money, definitely go and support Prism Lens Effects, great company. But if not, and you wanna give this a try, let me know how you get on. I'd love to see the results that you get as well. Hope you like the video. Just a little short one today, I think, I suppose. But it's fun, it's been really fun making this and seeing the results. I didn't think when I first had the idea that I'd get anywhere near as good results as I have, but it just shows you what you can do with some hairspray and an affordable filter. I'm working on some stuff at the moment. There's loads of videos that I've got coming up. I've got another giveaway for a film look piece of software. That's gonna be really, really exciting. So stay tuned for that one. And I'm also working on my own vintage style Canon C-Log look pack. So, and it's looking really good. I can't wait. There's a, there's a little, there's a little sneak peek look. Look at that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials, and all that. I'm also on Instagram, so head over there, and I'll see you there. And uh, I think that's it. Right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good week.